sorry, fight two of the evening at the Zonto Goodwin Sports Promotions here at York Hall. We have Miles Shinquin in the black and green shorts against Mad Mitch Mitchell in the silver, red and black shorts. Now Miles Shinquin, as we were just chatting a minute, comes from a, a very fighting family. His granddad and I think five of his six uncles have boxed. Boxing out of Jason Rowland's stable. Nice little left hook from Mad Mitchell there. But a very, very good, competent boxer, Miles Shinquin. I actually like him. I think, he's a, I think he's a talent. I think he boxes off the back foot really, really well. But he's against, what would we describe, I suppose you would describe Mitch Mitchell as a journeyman, but he's coming off a couple of wins just recently. He's had a points win against Brez Osborne here at a Steve Goodwin show. And then obviously just coming off a two round TKO in Manet against Adam Bragnecki. So, you know, he's, he's on a good run of form, Mitchell, at the moment. Yeah, and he looks in shape as well, you know. So, um, Miles will have to be careful, but Miles um, is a good little boxer, Miles. I've seen him do a bit of work in the gym and things. He's a um, fit guy. And like you say, he's got an experienced amateur pedigree, fought, fought some good amateurs as well. So, yeah. He's taking part in his eighth contest this evening, Miles Shinkman. Undefeated at the moment, winning 7 3 of them by a knockout. And I say, I just like him as a, as a fighter. He's got a good compact look. His hands are nice. He's got good lateral movement. And uh, at 25 years old, I think he's got a good a good career ahead of him. Like I say, he's got a good team of him and Jason and Roland and Richard Clark in his corner. Yeah, definitely. I say, Mitch Mitchell will say, just coming in his 25th bout this evening, nice little left hook to the body there. Just by the right elbow of Mitchell there, a nice little left hook from, from Shinkwin and, and showing the class that we said he's got. Man, I... Yeah, Shinkwin's throwing some good sharp shots, going to the body well. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Miles Shinkwin fights for something near title sometime this year. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's certainly got to be getting up that way. I say he's, uh, he's uh, you know, showing good, good form and they say he boxes really, really well, but he's uh, he's actually, it's funny you should say that, he's actually booked on the 12th of the 7th to fight for the vacant Southern Area Light Heavyweight title. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, you know, I say in the Light Heavyweight division, so that's what's happening very soon, and he is actually fighting for it, so this is obviously a bit of a warm-up for it. Oh, good, good, good stuff. And it's good, uh... good enough to fight for him. The first title on the way up for people perhaps watching at home and are not sure much about the Southern area. That's sort of one of the first titles you look to get in professional boxing, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, the Southern area title. So it's uh, some good opening round from Shinkwin so far. Controlling Mitchell. Quite nice. You're not getting too involved. Nice little right hand there. He yeah, was controlling the fight really well. Popping a jab ever so often. Working the body well to break him down. Like what I'm seeing. Yeah, good lateral movement, keeping Mitchell busy, not just keeping his head still. Nice little slips there, as we say, from side to side. Good opening round from him so far. Little left uppercut just missed slightly there. But as we've seen already this evening, there can be some upsets. You, know, you can't always bet on the home fighter. That's uh, you know, it's not a given. Definitely, definitely no given. No given in boxing. <laughs> Absolutely. Good opening round from Shinklin. Comfortable round for him, Rene. Very comfortable round. Very comfortable round. Momentum that he's obviously got going at the moment to, to go forward. Yeah, definitely. So round two of the scheduled six rounds in the light like, heavyweight division. If you've just joined us, we've got Miles Shinkwin in the blue, uh, sorry, in the green and black shorts versus Mitch Mitchell in the black, silver and red shorts. Nice little left of the body we talked about, Mane, just getting through there. Yeah, he's looking for the meat. I like the way of Miles Shinkwin's throwing them shots. Very well. It gets down well for the hooks of body because he's, he's quite a tall, you know, he's, he's not a short lad, is he, Shinkwin? So he can get down to their bodies quite nicely. Just drops his legs and he's balanced as he goes into the shots rather than leaning over to the shot. Which yeah, is nice, nice jab there. That's it, nice bit of balance there. Yeah, that was a good, good sharp jab. He shinted out just to, just to get out of range as well. That was nice. Just a double jab there from Mitchell, just falling short, just hung his chin out a little bit, Mitchell, there as he went forward with that double jab, just leaning forward. He's got to be a little bit careful of that with a sharpshooter in Shinkwin. Working the body well again there, a right and left to the body. And a long left hook there. A little bit more movement from Shinkwin there, so the upper body, planting his feet and just looking to slip inside them shots, Mane, and get his shots away. Yeah, that's it, he's moving nice. Mitchell threw a little shot there. He needs to be a bit more busy from what I'm seeing, Mitchell. Yeah, he's uh, controlling it comfortably, Shinkwin, at the moment just around the shots like I say still relatively early it's surprising he's only had seven fights Shinkwin it feels like he's been around for a long time 
He's uh, 25 years old, as I mentioned before. He's ranked by box wreckers as number 10 in the in the country at light heavyweight. So you know, he's it's not a massive division of light heavyweight. Is there? there's not really a lot of people in there. So he could uh, certainly run through the rankings and pick up titles. He's certainly good enough. Nice body attack there, right and a double left hook to the body there. Mainly on the elbows, I think, from Mitchell there. You see it coming. Just exchanging shots. Again, just another comfortable round so far, Mane from Shinkwin. Very comfortable round. Still, still got to be alert though, keep the hands up. I say Mitchell, obviously, like I said, we talked about the TKO win in his last fight. It's not really one, he's had five wins and two of them by knockout, so he wouldn't necessarily call Mitchell a puncher, but this is the pros, right? All of them can punch. It's the. This is it. This is it. I remember I went to the pros from the amateur game and I think um, every shot you get hit with hurts. <laughs> That's the difference between the amateurs. But he's a tough guy, Mitchell. Although he's lost 18, he's only been stopped three times. So if Shinkwin can get him out of there, it will send a bit of a, a signal out there to how, how good potentially Shinkwin can be. Or yeah. is because like I say, he's only been stopped three times in 24 fights. So if he can uh, get a stoppage today. Yeah, that's it. And knowing um, Miles Shinkwin, um, I think we want the stop, we should send out a bit of a statement to the rest of the, the division. And he can punch a bit as well, Shinkwin, like I say, he's only had seven fights, three of them by KO, so he can dig a bit. I remember seeing him at Watford, I think it was Watford as well, he thought, that's a nice shot there. And as we were saying there, he's going, as you said, man, ain't well called, he's looking to get to the stoppage. End of the round might save him here. That's yeah, good so work. good good work from Shinkwin there. Oh, by the way, when they play music during the... Okay, so round three of a scheduled six rounds of light heavyweight division and a nice little put down there in the last round, little knock down for Shinkwin. The body attack seems to be getting through and that left to the body again. He really throws that shot well, Mene. He throws it with a nice bit of meat to that shot. He, um, he likes the body shot. He's working it very well. I, looks think, I think I seen Buck um, earlier this year and he, um, he threw some body shots and he stopped the guy as well. So obviously saying they work on in the gym and Mitchell looks a little bit rattled. It's not. I've seen Mitchell fight a fair bit, and there's not many people rattling. Mena, you know, he's a tough guy. He obviously, travels the country. As we said before, he doesn't get stopped very often, but he looks a little bit, a little bit, a little bit rattled. Yeah, Miles is um, applying the pressure really well, and um, he's even got the back foot. Just put him down again. Yeah, put him down well, again. That was more of a balance. Oh, no, the rest called knock, knocked down. Okay. I think it was a punch there. I think it was every, every argument. So that was a knockdown there, but that's what I thought. Maybe a little trip, maybe, maybe it's something we missed. Maybe. But again, two rounds comfortably to Shinkwin, we've got it scored so far. Little right hand, just got through from Mitchell then, just cuffing him. Shinkwin just required back with a left of his own, and he's looking for that left of the body again. And he's got a really wide start, Shinkwin, but he moves his feet in really well. When he goes to attack, he moves his feet in with the attack, doesn't he, Mene? He doesn't just stand back or lean out, which some fighters do when you lean in for the shot man the chin comes away from the torso doesn't it but it's nice that Shinkwin just moves his feet in with the attack as he goes so he stays nice and balanced and that's why he can get the power in them shots there definitely he glides in and out very well good feet so comfortable so far and Mitchell I think if he did have any any chance to try and come forward and apply pressure which I think in the, in the first round we said we'd like to see him do I think them body shots have, have stopped that enthusiasm in there. I think he's, he's just looking to get through. some nice right hand there, just cuffing. Definitely. Them. High on the temple, that one. Yeah, it's it a was. little bit rattled again, but seems to have got through it okay. He's a tough guy, Mitchell. He is a tough, tough man. You see, he's very tough. And like I say, this will send out a statement if you can get a stop with you. Nice little left again there. He's going for that body attack shink. It's obviously something they see as a bit of a, a weakness in Mitchell. And, Mitchell's always in good shape though, every week turns up, he's never out of shape, he's not. Nice right and a left underneath again, a big gulp, gulp of air there from Mitchell. He's hurting the body really well. I like, to, I like to see him change it, come up the top and throw the left, left hook, that'd be nice. Left hook top, or maybe just to throw the right hand round to the body after that. He seems to be throwing that one, two and left hook to the body. However, that being said, man, every time he's thrown it, he's landed it. So, you That's know, it. it's, um, why, why, if it's not broke, don't fix it, I suppose. Exactly. It's, He's doing well so far. It just looks so comfortable. It just looks really, really comfortable. How far do you think Shinkwin can go? Can he go all the way? Do you think? Do you think he can? You know? Well, possibly. A wild right hand from Mitchell there. Just, just missing Shinkwin, and end of the third round. Okay, so round four of a scheduled six at Azonto time.
a Goodwin Sports Josh Goodwin promotion here at York Hall. Filling up nicely here on Saturday FA Cup final day. Good movement there from Shinkwin. We've got Shinkwin winning all three rounds quite comfortably so far, Mene. Definitely, definitely winning them comfortably. He's still looking for that meat off the body and he's uh, moving well, he's grinding in and out, he's controlling the fight. I just got the impression that Shinkwin's just slowly starting to break him up a little bit now. So he looked a bit rattled a couple of times, Mitchell. And so just got the idea that in the first first round, he just had a little look. The second round, he started to turn it in a little bit more. And uh, yeah, and a nice little left of the body. Just got caught with the left counter there, hook from Mitchell. Just got to be a little bit careful from that. Yeah, it has to be a little bit careful. But I think um, Mitchell could apply the pressure a bit more just to um, rattle Mitchell and just to get his respect. Well, sorry, just to rattle Miles and get Miles' respect. But um, he's um, not really fine a lot. If someone's not firing a lot, you keep firing, you know. That's it. I mean, that's, that's the only thing I suppose if we're being overcritical of, of Shinkwin so far is just that because he's having it all his own way sometimes, you can sometimes lose concentration a little bit, drop your hands when you're attacking to the body. And as we see with that warning shot a little while ago with Mitchell firing that left hook, you can just be reminded that you've just got to, when you're on the attack, just keep your hands nice and tight just so you don't get the short counter. It only takes one punch to turn a fight, doesn't it? So That's exactly it. Only takes the one. Seems to be enjoying himself there, Shinkwin. A little smile on his face to talk to each other. I see it, throws over and right. Oh, I like it there. Nice right hand, just sent him across the, the rope from Bannett's, just missed the left hook, left hook from Mitchell there, just whistling past. And Shinkwin replies with a left of his own. We can see Jamie Hearn sitting ringside. Mene, looks like a bow in his hair from here, but I'm not sure if it is or not, but it looks like a bow from here. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Is it something you would wear, Mene, a little bow in your hair? Or is uh, your hair too short for it, I suppose? <laughs> yeah, I might put the bow in the old um, earlobe or here. here. <laughs> <laughs> nice jab from Miles there. He says a very low, low, low hand style, doesn't he? She, when he likes to carry his hands nice and low. I think he feels quite comfortable with this. In the first couple of rounds, he had his hands a bit higher. I think as he's gone into the rounds, I think he feels comfortable with Mitchell Mene. I think he's, he's confident he can take what Mitchell can throw and he's enjoying it now, dropping his hands and having a little bit of fun in there. Definitely, it seems like he's just found his bit of range. Um, the first couple of rounds, or the first round I should say, he was uh, cautious, as he should be, and now he's going into the fight more and more. Okay, so we've got it in Shinkwin just having it all his own way so far. Just a bit of a quiet around this round, man, eh? Not much coming from either fighter, maybe having a little rest, as I say, scheduled for a six. So yeah. Just a round off maybe from the pair of them, we've just come to the end of the fourth round. Yeah, a, Looking yeah. for that left again, he gets the left into us, end of the last round. Good. Good shot. It's so round five of a scheduled six rounds. So we've got Liam Shinkwin in the, sorry, Marl Shinkwin in the black and green shorts, winning comfortably. Every round so far, many, as well as a couple of knockdowns, one or two knockdowns, depending on how many have been scored. Definitely every round. I think the last round had a bit of a rest round. They come out a little bit quicker. It looks like Mitchell's had a, a bit of a telling off in his corner because he's come out as well. Yeah, come out with a bit of a bit of gump there, didn't he? Threw a few shots, but Miles, see every one of them so far has moved. He's really looking for that left to the body still from Shinkwin, as we said. He's landed nearly every time he's thrown it, so he could, uh, I think Mitchell could be caught with the, the right hand over the top of the jab. He seems to throw a lazy jab sometimes, so I'd like to see Shinkwin just try and throw that sharp right hand over the top of Mitchell's jab. Yeah, it'd be nice for him to set that up. He threw a nice uh, right hand to the body. Just really comfortable, just handled Mitchell quite, quite well, and it's, it's a testament to his talent to be able to handle someone as experienced and as tough as Mitchell is. And, He's really bossed this from the first. He's hold the centre of the ring and he's attacking when he chooses to attack. And yeah, Mitchell could perhaps just force it a little bit, just force the pace a little bit. Yeah, he could do. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does as well, you know. Like I say, he's sent out um, a, a, big, um, a big, big statement to everyone else in the division. I think um, he should do very well in the future as well. Miles is looking very good. So really, really controlling the round. So as the fight's gone on, it's just less happening as the round's gone on, isn't it? It's a nice little two shots there from Miles. And one back there from Mitchell there, just get through the right hand. Most of it was taken on the gloves from Shinkwin, had his hands nice and tight. Still dipping down for that left of the body. Yeah, good bit of defence from Miles Shinkwin then. 
Mitch Mitchell just needs to um, gain a bit more respect out of him really, from what I can see. I say I think the only thing that, that Mitchell could do is try and force the pace a little bit. At the moment Shinkin's having it his own way, he's having it when he wants to fight. The only thing you could say is you could perhaps Mitchell just try and draw him into a bit of a fight, but I just think Shinkin looks really, really comfortable at the moment and uh, is, you know, there we say it sort of, you know, levels above Mitchell, no disrespect to Mitchell at all, just uh, just has had his number from, from the start and well, it's been a competitive fight, although Shinkwin has, has controlled the fight, you know, Mitchell hasn't come and laid down as he's, you know, he's, he's tried to make a game of it, he's tried to get the counter shots off. You know, it takes two two people to have a fight and it's been it's been no classic, but it's been a good oh, it's a nice right hand, the left on the body then. Just a little bit of a sag of the legs there from Mitchell and he's a tough tough guy. He's a tough guy, Mitchell, he takes some good shots. And from what I can see, Miles is putting in some effort to these shots as well. Starting to grip the canvas with his feet a little bit more as well, Shinkin, as he tries to turn the shots in. Shinkin, 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 Shinkin. So, final round, sixth round of that heavyweight division. A comfortable, comfortable, if it stays the same way, victory for Shinkin on the card so far, Mene, if it stays as it is. And straight back as all the other rounds has, with Shinkin looking for that left hook to the body straight off. Yeah, Mark Shinkin's looked well. Um, I think he can look back at this and see um, he throws some good body shots, which, like I say, I've seen before he threw some good body shots, and um, now it seems like he's practiced them now, just like target practice for him. I mean, can Shinkin take much away from this today? Obviously, the performance, I mean, obviously, there'd be things that Jason Rowland and Richard Clark would have spotted that they'll want to work on. and. No, but I mean it's been a pretty oh it's a nice little left hand there from Mitchell just come off the ropes and as we said before that's perhaps the only thing that can happen here is Shinkwin just loses concentration and just gets caught up a shot and it was a nice little left hook that he come off the ropes with Mitchell did catch him seems to have seems to have riled Shinkwin a bit there as he seems to have batters him to the floor and just seemed to make him a bit angry and it was just really turning them shots yeah. in there and sends Mitchell to the canvas once again and and he's really got some spite in it now. Looks like Shinkwin's going to go for the thing. Makes you wonder if he was trying to get the rounds in, Shinkwin, if he can if he can knock Mitchell over it's pretty much as soon as he wants to. But it's been a good a good boxing display so far from Shinkwin. Yeah, he's had a good boxing display. And um, Mitch Mitchell, he's a, he's a tough, tough cookie, you know. He comes there to fight, like you said. And um, he will take something away from this, um, both of them, especially Miles, knowing that um, He's uh, quit himself very well today. And so That's he's got the warm up fight for obviously, we're assuming this is a kind of a warm up fight for the southern area light heavyweight title he's got coming up on the, the 7th. Uh, sorry, on the 12th and the 7th. And uh, he's against Joe McIntyre, who's 11, 11 and 0. So, you know, he's up against a, a guy who's 1 11. Only one stoppage, though, so it suggests that perhaps he's not necessarily a puncher, but it's hard to tell. It'd be two unbeaten fighters going against each other, I man. That'd be a, a, be a good fight. That'd be a cracker. I'd, I'd be like, I'd like to be here for that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice little right hand, left right hook and left hook to the head there from Shinkwin. Then turn the left downstairs. But Mitchell just coming back with a flurry of his own. Nice right hands from Shinkwin, then just tying up. Got about 30 seconds left in the last round. And again, just a just a comfortable, comfortable win. And I think this corner will be pleased. Mitchell, I think, will go away from this quite happy with the performance. He just come up against the guy that was better and a little bit of sagging there, he's looking for that left of the body that seemed to hurt him that one there, Mene. He did. You see his um, legs drop a bit there. And Miles is proper sagging them uh, shots in. But he was hurt and Mitchell comes straight back there throwing shots. So again I know we've mentioned it already but he's a tough guy is is Mitchell. And I think he'll have sore ribs in the morning but a nice comfortable win for, for Shinkin there. If, if the judges score, if the referee scores it the same way as we do, man, it'll be one of the biggest boxing upsets in history, I think, if he scores it any other way. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. We'll just wait for confirmation here. So this is the second fight. We've scheduled seven fights this evening here at York Hall. If you are watching via Boxing Evolution TV, please get involved. You can tweet at Boxing Evolution and get involved. We're watching the Twitter here. Matt, obviously the head of Boxing Evolution TV, is working away to my left here. 
he's looking at the Twitter account, so please get involved. So we'll just go down to the MC for confirmation. Ladies and gentlemen, number 6 here on the boxing, our referee Terry Conner scores this contest 60 53, declaring your winner, Miles Shankland. So there we go, 60 53 confirmation and another win for Miles Shankland.